Who's your favorite CS player of the last 10 years? Mine is the GOAT. <laughs> the GOAT. I love that the most about them, how calm they are. We're all gonna get hate comments for, uh, for this segment. I, th I thought a lot about the, the sort of the 10 year thing that changes things. You have to sort of think back quite a bit. For me, partly some 1.6 probably bias and partly just the fact that he's an all player. So I picked Fallen. Oh, um, it wasn't Markov. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been. It was, <laughs> it was tempting yeah. for a minute. I have a soft spot in my heart in general for AWP players, but especially the style that Fallen does, the kind of the ability to sort of you know, fight close range with it at, at the best of times. Fallen will be swarmed, killing the short player, knowing that Wait. the second was still up on grave. He waits, he wins. I think it's so exciting. And it's like, there are players that play a more crazy and sometimes even more entertaining version of, of AWP, but usually they kind of fall flat on that. Like they, it doesn't have the same like return on investment over time. For me, he's like the second most inventive and successful IGLs of all time yeah. in terms of like basically creating maps, like the way people play train after uh, the, like Luminosity SK days, all because of him. And he was doing it as an IGL offing, which until the point that he did that, no one believed that that was the right thing to do. He's definitely hit some points that no other players have. Yeah. You know, where, where he's best player, arguably, and IGL and Opera, and creating the meta of this game in 2016. I think for me, there are some players where even if you put them in like a one versus four at like the worst of times with only 20 seconds left, like there's some part of me that always thinks three. like, he could still, he's like, like could, this could really still happen, you know? <laughs> yeah. And Fallen is just somehow forever in that category. It's my favorite CSGO player. It's always been uh, Neo and Forest. But obviously Neo, he is still playing, but he's not been playing in, in a tier one LAN in in a while now. I think it's tough for me to say, uh, but I think Forrest and Neo, one of those two, because they also made the transfer from 1.6 to, to CSGO. And I feel like the way they are as human beings, I love that the most about them, how calm they are. Every time I talk to them, I just feel like it's it's a friend for, I have for life, you know, in that sense, they are really chill dudes. Forrest has been, and I uh, mean, still playing on a top 30 HLTV team. The smokes, the grenades, oh, but Forrest holding the bomb. Can they get it? He needs one more kill. He's gonna get it. Oh my God, even takes that rush behind him and Forrest. I watched them a lot when I was a lot younger. And when the CSGO was just like the first years, like the popular years of CSGO. Nifty, you took a, you took a minute. You're trying to yeah, re remember uh, people. I think, uh, honestly, I just couldn't remember the person that I was thinking of. So I went with like a second or like a fan favorite as well. And I just chose Crims. <laughs> Crims, um, okay. yeah. That's a like, good pick. I, like I love Crims. I like the Fnatic era. I also like to this day really enjoy watching Crims play. And like, I, I, I feel like while watching, I can't not come from this space of like wanting to see him do well. He still has the smoke for the moment and he's calling his teammate over eight seconds on the clock. He oh, hits the opera crims. You don't see him in very many interviews or or out there on social media posting a whole bunch of different things to be honest. Like he's always just in the server and he's just doing his thing. He's always been very good at what he does. I feel like it's very yeah. much like a player's pick. That, yeah, like that's a very- That's a player's pick yeah. as well, yeah. <laughs> Mine is the goat. The goat. You have to say more. I mean, I, we all know what name comes to mind when you say that. Mine is the goat. <laughs> he, baited, he baited us he into shoes. it. And his name is Glaive, because in case people weren't sure. We need to hire a psychologist to analyze this picture. I forgot if goats have tails, actually, and I, mine has shoes. <laughs> Glaive, best IGL of all time, for sure. Won everything. Did it with Cure B. He solved Astralis's choking problem, coming into top four every single tournament. Came back, Astralis win their first major and then the next three. Magisk, Kirby, some of his teammates. What? Glaive? What? Undisputable, really. The GOAT. I could ride with that. Incredible. We're all gonna get hate comments for uh, for this segment. Because we didn't pick simple? Well, just because, it doesn't matter who we pick. Like, like I'm <laughs> yeah. just I'm saying there's so many players. My second was Flusha, so gonna... talk to me. Okay. <laughs> That's a that's yeah. good. I yeah. like that. I thought they were all good picks. The other goat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. We've done it. Is there more? More questions? <laughs> <laughs> it should just stop right there. We've done, right done it. We've done it. That's it. <laughs> we, are, we are done.